Hey guys, it's Jim. How you doing? I am announcing a new preset pack for Luminar today. It's called Cityscapes and it's all about shooting in cities. And I love to shoot in cities. I travel a lot to different cities. And in fact, they're my favorite thing to photograph now. Everybody loves landscapes and I do too, but I don't get to see these beautiful, stunning landscapes uh, that often. I'm always in cities. And so I've really gotten into shooting cityscapes. And whether it's skylines like this photos, uh, this photo, or, you know, just sunrise or sunset, but also some of the other stuff, the gritty stuff, like, you know, walls of covered in graffiti or dirty, like, grungy alleys that are gritty and kind of nasty. I love that stuff. It's just fun. Um, neon signs, I absolutely love that. Architecture, all kinds of stuff. So I built a preset pack designed specifically for photographing all these things. So let me take you through a few examples. The preset pack is called Cityscapes. And once you load it, it'll load here uh, as a custom preset pack. Uh, all you do to load a custom preset pack is when you get into Luminar, you just say file and add custom presets pack, and you add my pack there. Uh, if you buy this pack, and if you do, thank you very much, um, you'll get an email with a download link. You download that, save it to your desktop, and then you go here and say file, add presets pack, and it will load it up here with all the others, right? So that's that. So. This is the skyline of Boston. I've done all kinds of different presets. Uh, this one's called Blade Runner. It's kind of fun, kind of moody. Look at that. I mean, that's cool, right? So I'll just take you through a couple of these because I've got a bunch of uh, uh, different images I want to show you. This is called Glistening Shawl, kind of a sunsetty kind of look. I've got a, a radiant skyline. Let me see. By the way, this preset pack's only $10, but it's 40 presets, four zero. It's the biggest preset pack I've ever made. I think you're going to love it. Uh, this one, so, so kind of colorful there, but of course, as you know, with Luminar, you can easily take the opacity down. And look at that. That looks fabulous. That's at 73% opacity. So that's one photo example. Let me show you this one. Here's another skyline. This one is um, San Francisco. So I'm going to show you Blade Runner again, just because I think it's kind of cool. And I try to make it into a moody sort of sci-fi looking thing. I think that's pretty neat. There's tons of presets here. Dynamic intervention. That probably looks pretty good. I'm just kind of going through these here. Um, this one looked kind of neat. This Evanescent, look at that. That's kind of cool. So look at the color shifts I've done here. And this is one click. That's what's beautiful about presets. So powerful. And there's a lot of stuff in them. Let me show you. If you open this preset, you can see what's included here. It's quite a few different filters with a number of different things added to it. And that's the way all my presets are. They're not, you know, minor changes here or there. They're big changes. And uh, that's what I think are great about presets because... You don't need a preset to just change something small. You just do that with a slider and boom, you're done. But with a preset, you can completely change the look of a photo in no time at all. So I mentioned neon signs. Here's a neon sign. I've got a few presets that'll look great on that. This dynamic intervention looks cool. Um, let's see here. There we go. Split. There we go. So that's kind of cool. Glistening shawl, I think, looks cool. Uh, losing on the swings. This looks great on a neon sign, kind of brings up that all those rich colors that you find in neon. And of course, I made this one here for this particular sign. This is Neon Jungle, super saturated, but it's fun. Now again, you know, take it down a little bit. If it's too much for you, just reduce the opacity. And you know, there you are at 70%. Looks pretty awesome, right, compared to where you started. And that's one click, my friends. That's how it works. Let me show you this one. Here's the skyline of Austin, which is where I live, Austin, Texas. And, you know, you can pick all sorts of uh, presets. That one looks kind of cool. Let me, uh, let me get the before and after going. Uh, let me get that loaded. There you go. So you can see that's a major change. This glittering prizes looks cool. Very kind of or a golden hour, sunset kind of look. I think that's pretty neat. So again, you know, you can reduce the opacity to change the impact or the, the, uh, the intensity or the amount of the preset that's applied to your photo. So you've got all kinds of presets. You can see I'm kind of going through them. Moonlight Falling. I always do a couple of black and whites in my preset packs just because I've gotten to where I really like them. You know, and again, you can take this down a little bit, make for some interesting effects. Even this Neon Jungle on this one, at 100%, right, overdone. But again, take this down, and all of a sudden, look at that. At 70, yeah, 70%, you go from a kind of a cloudy, foggy, you know, ugly day to, hey, a beautiful sunset and... That's what I love about these things. Graffiti, I mentioned graffiti. I love graffiti. I shoot it all the time. I got all kinds of presets. 
And that's the thing, this preset pack that I didn't do in a lot of the other ones, and that is a lot of grungy, kind of gritty stuff. And that's because I love grungy and gritty stuff, and also you find it in cities, right? Um, so if you look at the before and after, you can see that's quite a difference. So that's all this machinery. This next one is called Angels in the Marble. There's a, there's a million things you can do here. You can just look through. And again, that's the beauty. I like this one, Illusions of Integrity. It'll come through here in a second. I've got kind of big JPEG files. There we go. So that one, you know, and again, you can go in here if you want, and you can say, all right, it's got all these things in it, but maybe I want to take the saturation down a little bit, and you can just adjust the preset a little bit uh, to, to customize it to whatever photo you may be using uh, the preset on. And again, part of the beauty of presets, they're just flexible. I think of them as a starting point. This one's kind of cool, train spotting. Um, I think of them as a starting point for my photos. You can do a one click and be done and love it, and that happens a lot. Uh, and I use all my own presets on my images. Uh, I build them, and sure, I sell them here, but I just love them, and I, I build them, and I use them uh, on my images. So this looks pretty cool. Again, gritty and grungy, and I've got a couple things like that here. Urban grunge, again, kind of a grungy, gritty scene. I think it's perfect for these kind of rougher city things that you come across. Uh, here's another shot from Austin, and I'm just running through a bunch of photos. But, you know, I've got a number that are, you know, if you want to get away from the gritty and you want the sparkly, twinkly, really pretty stuff, then here's some stuff, right? This is Dance in the Rain. At 100%, it's too blue. But you start reducing that opacity a little bit, and it becomes much more uh, functional for this image, right? The other thing you could do is get into the settings, uh, the filters that are included in the preset, change the saturation, or... If it doesn't have HSL, just add the HSL filter, reduce the blue if you want. So there's a lot of different things you can do and lots of ways uh, you can sort of uh, edit an image. Uh, I was about to say skin a cat. We don't want, really want to talk about skinning cats, but like, look at that. I think that looks really cool. Again, maybe a little intense, but take the opacity down and you have a winner of a photo in basically two clicks. One to click on the preset and one to just move the slider a little bit. Uh, there's another one over here that I think looks really good here. I think it's this twinkle twinkle. Yeah Twinkle twinkle really brings up that twilighty kind of purple which I love in cityscapes absolutely love that So again move the opacity if you want to but you can see what it did brought up a lot of details Where you need them and colors where you want them, but the sky still looks smooth. I didn't over detail the sky I think it looks great. So and then uh, here we go. There's a couple more photos I shoot a lot of doors. I just like doors. I can't help it. So when I travel, I'm always finding, if I find cool doors, these just caught my attention. But look at that. Very different. Such a different photo. And, you know, I like the blue in the original, but man, that's cool stuff, I think. I love that look. Again, gruddy, gruddy. I can't even talk. Gritty, little grungy. Let's see here. Uh, little keys and big doors. I built that preset for some of these kind of photos. You know, it's kind of washed out, kind of faded, kind of gritty, got that urban sort of feel. I think it looks good. Uh, here's a cityscape. This is a street scene from uh, San Francisco. I was trying to remember. Uh, Endless Compromises. This looks pretty cool here. You can see that it's, you know, a nice difference there. Took out some of that blue, made the uh, intensity quite a bit more on the details. Here we go. Glistening Shawl looks good. You know, all these, I think, look good, to be honest. Here's a graffiti wall, right? I built that for graffiti, but it looks great on this uh, street scene here. Here's Illusions of Integrity again. There's 40 presets. I can't go through all of them because you'd kill me. You'd be Well, you'd quit watching the video, to be honest. Um, but, I mean, look at the differences. This one's cool, old red. I love that. Faded, washed out, kind of glow, kind of interesting sort of look. And this one's neat on this image. Runaway American Dream. That's from Born to Run by Springsteen. Uh, some of these uh, uh, preset names are inspired by things that I heard in songs or whatever. There's, uh, you know, there's 40 of these things, people. So um, I think I'm on my last couple of images, but I'm just trying to show you a good variety. So if you're sticking with me and watching it, I appreciate it. Just want to show you what you might be signing up for if, uh, if you're interested in this kind of thing. Glistening shawl. I mean, look at that. That looks gorgeous, right? So there we go. And again, if you want to change lighting, you can always add top and bottom lighting, brighten the bottom if you want, or darken the top, whatever you want. Glittering prizes, that looks cool here. 
nice kind of golden glow, right? And again, you can take down the intensity or the opacity a little bit if you want to. Losing on the swings looks cool here. Here's one I haven't mentioned, I don't think. Million dollar view. That's kind of a one-click awesome kind of thing. If you take a look, I mean, I just think that looks beautiful, right? So that just enhances the natural colors instead of completely changing the colors. This neon jungle, that's a, uh, I need to decline that call. Um, neon jungle, I mean, look at that. It's really built for neon signs, but it looks great on this. It just brings up the intense colors of the sunrise. And again, just experiment, move things around. Don't forget, you can stack filters. That might be, oh, one more. Yeah, ooh, I forgot about this image. This is the city of Glasgow, Scotland. I love this uh, this view. It's just over the city, and I love shots like this because they're just kind of fun. So several presets that are applicable here. Um, that looks really wickedly cool, I think. I mean, look at the difference, right? There's your base photo. There's your new photo. What I was saying a minute ago before that call tried to interrupt me, and that is, um, don't forget you can stack filters. So maybe you... Uh, use a filter on your base layer and then you add a new layer, stack a filter on top of that. Mess with the opacity on both layers to get it looking the way you want. But you can also just stack the filter for the second layer and then just mask in the part that you want with the brush, right? And just mask in that layer, do a layer mask. And by the way, if you don't know how to do that or if it sounds scary, it's not. It's really easy. There's videos about it on macfun.com, video tutorials that I created for them. So there's a ton of stuff. Uh, a lot of these presets look cool on these kind of cityscape, street scene kind of things. And that's what they're built for. Really just want to bring up some of the different details. And, you know, I like the beautiful aspects, like some of these things like Radiant Skyline, which looks good on twinkly, sparkly lights. But then this stuff, Runaway American Dream or this Shadow Hunter, looks great on cityscapes and street scenes. Um, I've got some preset, like that looks cool, right? I just think... That's an awesome preset. That's called Shadow Hunter. I mean, what a difference. Um, I've got one I built for churches. I shoot a lot of churches when I travel. Um, it's called Spirits Above and Behind Me. And so also from a Springsteen song. Uh, I borrow a lot of song lyrics when I'm doing this. But that looks cool here, even though it's really built for churches. Stolen Glances. It's kind of a washed out, faded look. Not quite black and white, but almost. Right? Pretty cool stuff. So... Here, one more, Urban Grunge, right? There's just so many things you can do with these presets. They're a lot of fun. There's 40 of them. It's only 10 bucks. You can get them at the link on my blog that's down below. And let me know if you have any questions. I think you'll love them. They're big changes. I've taken you through 10 images with a few different presets demonstrated on each one. Hopefully that gives you a good idea what it's about. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. You can leave a comment here on YouTube or you can email me through my blog. Whatever it takes, hit me up on Facebook. I'll do my best to answer your questions. I hope you love the preset pack as much as I love it. I've been using it on images for a while, doing a lot of tests. I've run dozens of images through these presets. And every preset doesn't look great on every image, right? That's obvious. You can't have one size fits all. But a lot of these are applicable to a lot of different scenes. And if you're like me, you shoot a lot of stuff in the cities. And that doesn't mean you can't use these on landscapes. I just had the cities in mind when I built them. So that's why I call it Cityscapes. I hope you like it. I hope you have fun with it. And I hope you're inspired to go create some stuff. That's it, my friends. Thanks for the support. I'm very grateful for it. I really appreciate it. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks again, friends. I'll see you next time. And adios.